Misha, pick up the phone. Ah, oh, and there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? Uh, I just got back from work an hour ago. Same. I've made myself some food. Same. And I've just got off the phone with my landlord. Oh, not same. Yeah, I missed a payment, but it's it's fine. I've paid it now, and it, it's settled anyway. Mm. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. I was expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying? They have um, people in glass houses can't throw stones. No way, you too! Mm -hmm. Matches? Yes, a lot. Now a zero. But don't like apps, like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and. You're not helping! You know, they really try and help you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero, even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Hey, the grass isn't always greener. I've got like. 80 likes. But like once you filter out like the bad profiles and the nude pics and the meh ones, it's all just a bit quiet. Are your standards a little bit high? No! Anyway, I have a new initiative in the works. What's that? You're gonna kidnap someone? I've signed up for speed dating tonight. <laughs> okay, why are you telling me this? Because I'm bricking it and like, do you wanna have a drink before? Could you just say less? It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. See you there. Bye. Bye.
because there's no substitute for meeting someone face to face. Like you can see their physicality, feel their vibe. Yes, but what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My internet connection was crap. Mm. What do you do here? Welcome everyone to Speed Dating. My name's Derek, I'm your host. We're gonna be beginning very shortly. So gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're gonna find that genuine connection to keep banging on about. Why are you <laughs> smiling at me like that? <gasps> Ni why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling, you're like everything. Misha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. How does it work? Sorry, what? <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, that's why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with a gentleman by your first allotted table numbers, and good luck. Have fun. <laughs> um, you're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. <sighs> Cheers. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm Ryan. Ryan, I'm Kathleen. Sorry, I just wanted to squeeze in a quick page. Do you mind if I get to the bottom? Yeah, by all means, fire away. <laughs> Done. <laughs> all yours. What are you reading? Uh, the Evolution of Bond-Forming Dynamics Across the 21st Century by Professor Gertrude von Nosselhoff. Well, it must be a pretty good read if you're sneaking in pages in between dates. Oh, no, no, no. I have to finish it for a seminar tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a PhD student in behavioral psychology. Uh, what do you think of it? She has some interesting points. The chapter I'm on covers the influence of pop culture on behavioral modeling and attraction dynamics. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> no, that does sound interesting, but um, I mean, Please don't ask my opinion on it, because I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't expect that of you. But if this goes well, maybe you'll learn a little something. Okay, so you're here because you're looking for a study buddy. No, quite the opposite. I need someone to keep me out of the library occasionally. <laughs> so the age-old work-life conflict. Which side of it do you fall on? Am I allowed to say that balance is best? No. No fence sitting one or the other. Work is, it's just a necessity. I mean, any moment I'm not in work or on the clock, I can devote to whatever I actually want to do. So you're a nine to fiver? At the very most. I don't think I could stay out of the library that much. Anyway, I have a confession to make. Okay, already. Everyone tells me that for whatever reason, I haven't lived. I don't believe that. I've. Never been to a nightclub. Never. What, your fourth stint as a student and you've never even <laughs> set foot in a nightclub? I would rather spend the day in a cafe with a, a book and my laptop. This is your halfway warning, guys. Halfway. So you are still studying to become a more qualified psychologist. <laughs> the more you know, the more you earn. So where do you see yourself in five years? Sorry, I researched good speed dating questions before tonight. And that's what you got? <laughs> it sounds a little bit more like you researched good job interview questions instead. <laughs> I want a happy family by then. I just want to be in a loving relationship and however many kids life blesses me with. Okay, so say life has blessed you with one child, boy or girl. Okay, uh, blessed 
was a bit of a lame choice of words. <laughs> no, it was sweet. It was sweet. That's what every guy wants to hear on a first date. <laughs> I definitely want a boy. I am best placed to relate to them. I think I can just bring all the experience that I have and yeah, I just want a boy. But boys need both male and female influences. But he would have his mother too. And my best friend is a woman. And so he would have a very attentive godmother. She's a little bit nuts. Um, <laughs> you may meet her. She's hiding around here somewhere. Yeah. Hopefully on a really bad date. Like this. <laughs> Ay. Question. How do I know that all of this isn't part of your PhD thesis? That all the guys here aren't just your guinea pigs? You don't. But a study at the University of Virginia found that we are more intrigued by those whose thoughts and feelings are unclear. You have a study for everything. <laughs> Is that supposed to be my key takeaway from today? Uh, I'll offer you a better one. From Professor Nosselhoff? I'll find one from the start of the book. Ah, here we go. This is a good one. When we set off on a journey, we are riddled with excitement or apprehension. Nothing in between. It's not exactly one you'd read in the toilet, is it? <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> well, that's not Alhav's opinion, but I think that apprehension is our body's way of telling us that something is worth doing despite the risks. Hmm. You know, we can actually reprogram our brains to interpret nerves as excitement. They're similar chemicals. I did that before coming tonight. Is, like, would you do that before tests as well, that sort of thing? Oh yeah, very helpful for tests. Yeah, it's clever, isn't it? Mm, brain's clever. Not mine. <laughs> Got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. Well, how do you fancy spending the final minute? Why not leave that to Professor Von Nosselhoff again? Let's get a takeaway from the end of the book. No, 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 no. Look, we, we can do without the help of Professor Nostradamus there. Uh, okay. I didn't have any other plan. Yeah, come to think of it, neither did I. I like your shirt. Thanks, my mom got it for me. That's your lot, ladies and gents. Time's up. Let's be moving on. Well, um, it was great meeting you. Yeah, you too. Okay, uh, have a good evening. See ya. Yeah, yeah, I guess I am. I'm, I'm Ryan. Tony.